hello everyone and welcome that was a lot of energy i'm sorry y'all that was a little bit too much hello everyone welcome back to my channel yeah this camera i'm so scared that the camera's gonna fall because it's like literally on the tripod on top of my chair but it's all good it's all good it's all good we're good anyway Thank y'all for clicking on this video. As usual, I want to start off with a couple of things. One, thank y'all. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate all the love that y'all have been showing my videos, all the views, every just everything, just everything, the new subscribers, the new girls, the new everything, everything, everything. Um, y'all are really it. Y'all are really it. Mm-hmm. Period. Other than that, go follow my Instagram. I'll put the little handle somewhere on the screen. Um, go follow my TikTok because, you know, who know? Other than that, y'all might hear a noise in the background. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So as, oops, oops. So as a lot of y'all know, or maybe you don't know, actually nobody on this channel would know that. Anyway, <laughs> so my birthday was may 26th i'm a gemini period and i got a lot of stuff for my birthday i got a lot of stuff leading up to my birthday um i got a lot of stuff from friends and from family and i'm just really grateful i'm really grateful to have been <laughs> i'm really grateful to have been in a financial situation where i could afford to get a lot of stuff for myself for my birthday i'm really grateful to my friends and my family that ended up spending money on me for my birthday um i didn't ask for anything for my birthday so yeah i'm just feeling grateful and i just thought that i would share um so yeah i was just really happy and excited to be celebrating my 20th birthday it was a really big deal for me also i'm not going to say the little this is it to show up just go back you clicked on the video you knew what you were getting period and that's just all on that so without further ado let's just get into the actual video one of my favorite things to do and one of my favorite things since i was a kid to do was write and i feel like this past year i've been really out of touch with writing and i haven't written as much as i'm used to so the first thing that i ended up getting myself for my birthday was a new journal i got this molluskine journal i think that's how it's pronounced so really now um, I just got it from Staples. It was like 20 bucks. I think it's the perfect size. It's like this, like basically my hand. I just really love it and I'm really happy that I got this for myself and then to go with it. Um, I'm so, like so big on stationery and stuff like that. Like I don't know why. I just love pens, pencil cases, pencils, like all this different kind of stuff. I've been like that since I was a kid. So I ended up getting a Kate Spade pencil, Kate Spade pencil pouch from... Nordstrom Rack, I believe. I don't remember how much it was, but probably an unnecessary price. I bought this on my birth date, so I was just, I was feeling. I was, <laughs> my pockets were big. What can I say? My pockets were huge. Regardless, I got this Kate Spade pencil pouch. It's gold and white and has like flowers on it. This pencil pouch came with like a couple things, like these two pencils. I haven't even held a pencil in so long. Um, and it came with like a ruler and i think a sharpener and like something else that i'm not even gonna bother to get but also from staples i ended up getting these sharpie s gel pens it, they look like this got these ones because they were on sale one they were like bronzy two and they had like a metal barrel so i thought they were going to be heavier but they weren't that heavy the skins bag not part of the haul just part of what's happening here so I went to Bath and Body Works also on my birthday. One of my favorite scents of all time is A Thousand Wishes. So I just got these three um, set things from A Thousand Wishes. I got the lotion, looks like that. The body wash, like that, whatever. And the body spray, love the body spray. I think this was like $12 because they were having some like kind of sale. I ordered some stuff off of Sephora for my birthday like to plan a birthday look i don't know where all of it is I'm not gonna lie to y'all but the main things are here so first i got the anastasia and Reezy palette 
Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I ain't never heard of my good sis, Miss Ambreezy herself. But the one palette that I've been wanting for so long was the Kylie Jenner 20th birthday palette. And this basically the same thing. And I already have an Anastasia palette. So I knew that the quality would be good. Nonetheless, here we are. It is kind of dirty already because I have tapped into a couple shades, as y'all could see. But yeah, this has been... I've been using this so often. I used it since I do my little winged look yeah love this palette love it's just giving it's giving but i also got from nyx they have a new bear with me collection um with cannabis sativa seed oil so i got their um revitalize and set multitasking spray i thought this was super cute um and i needed something because i started doing soap brows and i wanted to do it with setting spray so started doing that and then the other thing that i got was this radiant perfecting primer it has a bit oh i didn't mean to take it out but it looks kind of like this again really gross on the inside do not judge do not judge but it is just super glowy and i just love the kind of dewy look i've been loving the dewy look i'm usually a matte girl but i've been loving the dewy look next i got a bunch of sunglasses i'm gonna try and link some stuff down below if i can find it the first thing that i got was these pair of sunglasses i ordered these like last week i thought they were gonna come in black thought they were gonna come in a tortoiseshell they came in neither black nor tortoiseshell they came in white but that's okay because i don't really have a white pair of sunglasses and i haven't worn these but i just bought these from amazon i think they were like 11 bucks they just look like this So I thought they were kind of cute. Um, and then the other thing that I got were these pair of sunglasses. Again, also bought them on my birthday because it was super sunny that day. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. It was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. There was a lot going on. So yeah, these are super cute as well. And these I bought from H&M and they were like 12 bucks, I want to say. From DH Gate, I bought these so these are um replica versace sunglasses they are super cute so this is what they look like i don't know what the real versace ones look like don't come for me in the comments but they look like this they have this on the side they're just super cute and on i think these were like 27 bucks with the shipping in terms of other accessories that I got, I got a three pack pair of masks just because I ended up losing my mask randomly when I was in Philly. And I really liked that one mask because I have a pretty small face. Masks usually like look really big or whatever. So I found these on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks for this pack of three. Um, I really like wearing black masks, hashtag BLM, yeah. Next thing that I bought also from my birthday was this Kate Spade um, phone case. It's just pink, like glittery pink, and it's like a two-piece case. I think this was like 40 bucks. I really liked it. Uh, I don't have it on my phone right now because I just have a clear case on, but if y'all know me, y'all know that I like to change my phone cases, so... I bought this a little before my birthday, but I bought it nonetheless and ended up wearing it for one of my birthday celebrations. But it is a tell fee fee a tell for a tell for period. No tampon. Um so I was thinking of all the Telfar colors I would get, and I was like, the most outlandish color that I would get is a bronze Telfar bag. So, literally, the following email that I got from Telfar was a drop, was about the drop for the bronze bags. So I was like, oh, say less. So I ended up getting this bronze Telfar bag. I put in the dust bag, you know, just for appearances, but I have already worn it it looks like this the thing about this medium bag is it looks so small in hand and then wearing it in person it is much bigger i don't know how to describe it, it it's just bronze it's bronze she's beautiful she's cute um as y'all know this is like 202 dollars i'm working this summer so i thought this would be a super cute summer work bag as well and i just i love her next thing that i got also from dh gate 
is this. First of all, I know these are replica items. I will say it again. I know these are replica items. I don't care. I don't care. I'm literally in college. I don't know what you want me to do. Um, to the girls that are like, oh, but just, just wait. Just wait until you can't afford it. You, that means you can't afford it. You're right, I can't afford the real thing, so I didn't buy the real thing. <laughs> next, next caller, next caller, because she ain't talking about nothing. Go. Anyway, I ended up getting this coin pouch. Looks like this. It's super cute. I just attached it to my keys, and yeah, I just have a couple cards inside. Nothing much else to say. I think this was like 18 bucks. Then I ended up getting another louis bag i think it's called the multi pochette or something like that nonetheless here she is on camera so you have like the smaller bag it looks like this then you have like the bigger bag um it has like a chain in the back mm, the chain's supposed to be in the front but it has a chain and it has like this cross body and then it just has the Louis Vuitton strap. I got it in green because I love wearing this like green color a lot. I love this bag. I think it looks so cute. Nobody's selling me nothing when I wear this bag. Yeah. Also got this Prada bag. Now this Prada bag, she's the real deal. End of story. End of story. She looks phenomenal. Her quality is phenomenal. Nobody's telling me anything different. I love this bag. I think it's so cute and I think it's so cute. I don't know what else to say. I've been wearing it a lot as my like everyday kind of bag. Yeah, and just says Prada Re-Edition 2005. Like I said, also from DHK. I don't remember how much this one was, but if I find the seller, I will tag them down below. So I got a, another school wish mellow. It is just the shark. So I bought it for myself and it was 20 bucks and it's super cute. And it matched my room because my room is like gray and blue and yeah. I'm literally just going through a bunch of stuff. I tried to organize it categorically. I don't know if it works categorically. For myself, I bought this Dior lip glow oil. I got it in the color Rosewood 012. I swear to you, I swear to you, they all look the same, but we'll pretend like this one looks different. Um, in the bottle, it just looks like this. And I thought it was super cute. Don't remember the price. Expensive, but it was my birthday, and I saved money just for this. Other thing that I got for myself was these Daisy by Marc Jacobs mini perfumes. It had these on the line at Sephora. I like putting these in my bags, um, and I thought the bottles were super cute. So, yeah, and I think this was actually, this I know was like $25. Then, from my friend Perry, um, she got me this Dr. Jart um, Rescue Kit, Soothe, Repair, and Strengthen Sensitive Dry Skin. I've never used any of these. I've heard about this before. It's the color correcting treatment. It says it neutralizes redness, protects skin, improves skin appearance to be, vi to be vibrant sure um and then it came with a serum a cream and then a mist like i said i've literally never used any of this but i'm really excited to try it especially because like i said i heard about this product before and then i got my sephora gift birthday gift i ended up choosing the laneige is that how you say it laneige um literally just because i wanted to try the lip sleeping mask then my friend jade pretty sure she wrote me a card i don't know where it is right now but she got me a 50 dollars sephora gift card so i'm really you know excited about that because i don't know what i'm gonna buy but something cute um my friend becca got me a 25 dollars gift card and then my friend brie also wrote me a card so a lot of content to work with your a lot of content to work with so thank you to all my friends my friend lord has also got me a card she also got me this video which i might try to insert here hey 
bestie Caitlin. Our bestie Lourdes told me it was your 20th birthday. Happy birthday to my bestie. Happy birthday, beautiful bestie. Happy birthday, my beautiful bestie Caitlin. Happy birthday to you. And congratulations on finishing out the school year, you college girl, you. I hope you had a magical, marvelous, wonderful. I hope you have a magical, marvelous, wonderful birthday, bestie. Bestie vibes only, bestie vibes only, bestie vibes only. Um, it is, in fact, the Hey Bestie woman saying happy birthday to me. I just feel like I have top tier friends. So, in terms of shoes, so I got these slides today. They are the Adidas Adilette. Adelette comfort slides. I got them in a men's size 7, women's size 8. Um, I liked them because they had the Velcro because usually slides are just too big on me. They're super soft. And I got them from Costco and they were 15 bucks. The next pair of shoes that I got were shoes that I got for myself. Um, they are from Zara. They look like this. They are these heels. I've been super into these like square toe heel moments. So they look like this. Oh, they're so everything and then this is what the heel looks like it's a block heel i got them in a size 39 which i believe is like a woman size eight eight and a half like around and then my boyfriend got me quite a few things for my birthday like smaller things we also went out to eat for dinner but his actual gift to me were these sneakers that i've really been wanting since they came out they are the nike dunk college navies um they look like this they're literally just gray and navy blue they have like satiny laces the inside of the shoe is kind of satiny as well like the sides on the back it says nike and on the tongue it says nike um and then the bottom is like a clear sole i have worn them out like quite a few times so that's why they're dirty but yeah he got them from stock x but the retail price is a hundred dollars y'all know all about that um i was just super grateful i've loved these shoes for so long i've literally been staring at them for decades what feels like decades and i just wanted them but i couldn't justify it but i wanted them but i couldn't justify it so he just bought them for me and i'm super grateful also for my birthday i ended up getting quite a few pieces of jewelry so i'll start off with what i'm actually wearing right now so first i got this cartier ring dupe i got this off of etsy i think it was like 34 dollars. super cute fits my finger perfectly and matches with like the rest of my jewelry and then also off of dh gate i got this cartier love bracelet dupe looks exactly like the real thing who is talking to me no one no one um, I really just like the look of this bracelet. I also like how it fits. I have pretty small wrists, so that's why I got it. I'll put the link down below. I think it was like $20 if I didn't already say that. Um, and then the other thing that I got was this little bracelet from Brandy Melville. And it just has stars on it. It's like, I don't know if y'all can see. It's like one of those like beaded bracelets. Thought it was super cute, especially because I love stars. I love stars. And then from my friend, my friend makes jewelry, she makes rings. And so she, I ordered two rings from her. The first one being this star ring. And then the next one being this heart ring. I don't know if I can see that. Looks like that. Here's an up close on the star ring as well. So first I ordered from Savage X Fenty. I did um, because I wanted to. I've come to realize that I should probably go and have my um, bra size checked just for good measure. Just for good measure. Um, because I think it was incorrect. I do think it was incorrect. So only two sets ended up fitting. I got this one. Y'all could go on the Fenty website and see what the whole set looks like because I couldn't even find the bottoms even if I wanted to right now so I got this one mm. and then I got this one mm. um the rest I do or I still have to but I'm going to send back because 
they don't fit at all and if they do it looks ridiculous it looks ridiculous from pax and i also got a kind of like bra and matching underwear set um this is what the top looks like it's literally just like pink and it's like from their playboy collection and it was on sale for i think like ten dollars or something and then the thing that i'm most excited about so y'all have seen me include parade in another one of my videos well i filled out a form because i was like well i see a bunch of girlies are wearing parade and i want to wear parade too so i reached out to parade and told them that I want to partner with them and they answered me and they sent me parade stuff and so they ended up sending me stuff from their silky mesh first ever parade lingerie collection and I got it and it was so nice and I actually do have the bras and underwear to show so here is what the top looks like they sent me like the triangle top and this is what it looks like it's like this tangerine kind of red color and it's super stretchy it is so comfortable on y'all can actually see it in my instagram photo instagram plug right there and then this is what the bottoms look like i think they sent me just like the cheeky bottoms i got the top in a small and i got the bottoms in an extra small because before my parade underwear was a little big but the extra small fits me perfectly um and it just looks like this they're super cute and then they also sent me a blue pair because i love the color blue um so i was really happy about that overall it was a wonderful set this was probably the best birthday gift of it all because i've been wanting to work with parade for so long and i, I did and i'm so excited about it and yeah i'll put my discount code here i'll put my discount code in the bottom as well but yeah buy from my parade link because honestly silky mesh ate silky mesh ate that up period now we can finally move on to the bigger things so first let me move this first i bought this little tie front sweater from brandy i actually bought this because i was cold the day that i bought it um because i typically don't buy white things but yeah it just ties in the front so this was about 24 dollars i think and i bought it from the brandy store then nike sent me like a 10 percent nike coupon something like that and i saw this sweater actually like a week before and i really wanted it and yeah so it's just this gray sweater it says nike and it has like this little flower and then on the back y'all the back is literally the reason why i bought the sweater it says new york city community garden and then it has this like a picture and then it says we grew here you flew here now i bought this because i was like oh my god gentrification new york city yes period i was born here but then i was like mm, i hope people don't misinterpret what i'm saying i hope it's not misinterpreted and i'll just leave it at that could it have been worded differently yes the sweaters in my possession now though. so the writing is like pink and then like i said it just looks like that super cute i got in a size medium i think normally the hoodie was like 60 bucks but i got it on sale for like 40 something next thing that i got was actually from tj maxx in philly it is just this green kind of denim ish looking jacket it is from michael kors i got it for 29.99 but originally the jacket was 120 dollars i also got this in a size medium and thought it would be perfect for wearing to work it just has gold detailing really likes the jacket the last thing that i got was this this is from abercrombie and fish this was the only thing i bought from abercrombie and fish i've been looking for a leather blazer because i've been trying to get into like the blazer game so i've been looking for a leather blazer and i finally found this one it's a vegan leather blazer i think it was on sale for like 80 bucks it was originally 140 but it looks like this i got in a size small it is it fits like it fits not tight like it just fits but i also can't get any bigger which is a problem because what if i want to but it fits and it is super cute um it has like two but three buttons in the front it is just like 
it fits really well. I really like it. Don't know what I'm going to wear with how I'm going to style it or anything like that, but you, mm -hmm. you, I'll move on to my skirts. So I got two tennis skirts, both of them from Amazon. This is the first one. It just looks like this. This one's like the super short one. Um, I'll try and find the link for it, but I got it in a extra small because I first either got an extra small or an extra extra small because the first one that I got was too big so I sent it back ended up getting this one and it's super cute I don't wear a lot of white things I have to keep saying that but I did buy this and it is it is also super short so something to keep in mind for the girls then from Paxson, when I also ordered the bra, I saw that they had this skirt on sale. It is from the brand LA Hearts. I bought it an extra small because that's what would fit my waist. It is also supposed to be like a full leather skirt. Um, it's quite wrinkly, but y'all can get the gist. And I think this was like 20 bucks, maybe? I don't remember. Like I said, it was on sale and it was originally 36. Then the last skirt that I got was this tennis skirt. It was supposed to come in the color gray, but someone said the color gray was like a beigey color and I kind of liked that so I bought this and it's much longer than the other one. Still a little big on my waist. It has some ruffles in the back. It also has a zipper in the back. Thought it was super cute. I really like tennis skirts because they have shorts underneath. So yeah. Next, moving on to the shorts that I bought. I bought quite a few. So first from Nike, I bought these pair i forget sorry if they're wrinkled also because i wore them and i forgot to wash them so they're gonna go straight in there and wrap this video but i forgot what i think the color is called coconut it's just like an off-white kind of color it's like pretty high-waisted but you can also wear them like a little lower i don't know but they're super cute i got them like on sale 10 percent off i think they they were originally like 30 something dollars from Target my mom actually just bought me these because I was having like a pajama party that was like the theme of my birthday weekend um and I got these from their little stars above line super cute they're literally just sleep shorts and these were $12.99 and they're striped they have these little tassels and I thought they were super cute then from Amazon I got these these are like some boxer shorts I've been seeing these on Instagram for a while so I decided to buy my own pair and baby baby let me tell you these are so freaking cute on um I didn't really know how I was gonna style them but I ended up styling them with like just like another black top and yeah the one thing that I will say is I got an extra small because it said it could fit a waist size 23 to 25 um and it was kind of tight so I would kind of size up if I bought another pair or actually when I buy another pair because I like them that much. Then from TJ Maxx, I got these pair of black shorts. They're from Cynthia Rowley. I think they're like workout shorts, but I'm going to kind of wear them as just regular shorts. They just look like this. The material is super soft. That's the main reason why I bought them. They have a drawstring in the front, some pretty big pockets, and then some like hidden pockets with zippers as well. Um, and they were only $12.99 those shorts were like $22.99 by the way the boxer ones I got these shorts from H&M they were like $17.99 you can put a belt loop around them but it does have a pulled tab like drawstring they're super high-waisted they're like an off-white color kind of thin and airy but really cute as well and then the last pair of shorts that I got was from the Nike outlet store and they just look like this and they're just like a black pair of shorts it just has Nike embroidered in the corner and yeah moving on to pants that i got okay so from target i got a pair of pajama pants these were like 21 dollars. they are like three quarter lengths which is like a really awkward pant length but it's super cute for like bedtime stuff i don't know what else to call it Woo, chile i am thirsty Hydration is key. Hydration is key. From Brandy, I got these pair of pants. They're just some yoga pants with a high waistband. They kind of flare out at the bottom. They're super cute and super tall, girl friendly. Also from Brandy, while we're here, I got these pair of Tilden pants. Um, I actually got them to go with this sweater. 
that I also bought. And these still have the tag in them because I haven't worn them. They were $35 and they just have this like plaid print. Thought they were super cute. Gonna wear them in the summer. Hopefully they don't give off like pajama vibes. But if they do, sucks to suck. The next thing that I got, I also got from Dick's Sporting Goods. I thought these pants were also kind of cute because I've really been into straight leg pants. So I got these ones from Nike and they I got them in a size extra small. They fit super well and they are literally just straight leg pants. The fabric is amazing. It's dry fit material. So I can wear it to the gym. I can wear it as a fashion statement. Just perfect. Also super tall girl friendly and perfect for my waist. And then the last two pairs of pants I got from Old Navy. This pair um, is their, um, it literally doesn't say, but it's like a chino jogger kind of thing. And I just got them in this gray color. They're super airy. And they have like the waistband at the bottom and this pockets on the side and the pockets on the back and the, um, everything. Thought they were super cute and they were on sale for $15.99. So I had to snatch them up because I'm always looking for work pants in particular. And then the last pair of, of pants that I got were these Sky High Straight Extra High Rise Secret Slim Pockets pants in a size zero. They just look like this. I actually just got a hold in them because um just realized today that the sensory tag was not off the pants. I did search through the trash for the receipt and it was in fact not there. So I had to look up how to remove it and I had to get my brother's help and he cut the thing off the pants and there was a tiny hole in the pants but now we're here. Anyway, the pants are super cute and even though they were $19.99, they ring up for $10. These good pair of old navy jeans for $10 and originally they were $40, they were $40 so you know and they fit my waist perfectly because they're size zero yeah i couldn't pass them up couldn't pass them up at all okay y'all so in true kate lynn fashion right as we we're going to finish this video my camera died so the last thing i'm gonna film is the shirts um i got a bunch of new shirts including this one this one i got from brandy melville um in an order a while ago i don't remember how much it was i think it was around 28 dollars because it was one of their knit sweater vest but yeah also from brandy Mountain, um i got one of these tops y'all have seen these tops in multiple other hauls that i have filmed um this was like 16 dollars, and it's just in like this gray kind of like brown color which i really liked actually i got this kind of basic top it's kind of scalloped on the ends i don't know if you can see it i think this was 14 dollars. it has a really high neck and i really like it then i got this top i thought i could wear this top to work it has a collar and it has some buttons going down the front but most of it is just like a regular straight down kind of like sleeveless tank um this was 24 dollars, and it's kind of also like a faded black which i like then i got some shirts from zara so i got this shirt which is this just like checkered shirt it has green like detailing really liked this really like the feel of it i forget what the the name of this like material is but i love it this was 19.90 i got a kind of tight fitted shirt it has these like really dramatic sleeves kind of reminds me of a bird but that makes sense because i'm a bird seriously though not like mm, i'm a bird like i'm i'm about the bird life i i make jokes for a living no but i thought this was really cute as well this i got in a size small and it was 12.90 and then the other shirt the most recent shirt that i got from zara was this one i've been looking for like kind of like a corset top like this that has like this these little thingies and i finally found one in the zara and so i got it and it was 25 dollars a while back i bought this shirt from my friend so i featured my friend's company in one of my other videos but my friend just owns a company called jc the label it's her and her sister bought a corset top from them um it just looks like this so it's kind of like paneled it's this really pretty brown color with pink 
detailing and then here's what the back looks like so it's like an actual corset i love the brown and pink i think it's so unique um and you guys have seen that before in my other video with the sweatsuit as well then i got some tops from h&m so first i got this graphic tee um, I don't have a lot of green shirts, so this was kind of different. I just liked the graphic on it. It just says, Sassy and Classy, your favorite talking teddy, planet Earth. It's number one agony on my call today. Turn to know. Okay, whatever. It says a lot of things on it, but I thought it was super cute, and I kind of liked the color. This was $5.99, and I got an extra small from H&M. Um, I got this top from H&M, also an extra small. It's just this yellow top. It looks like this it's kind of see-through like hello but i think it's gonna be really cute with just like a pair of shorts or a white pair of pants um and it's pretty cropped as well this was only 9.99 i got this brown shirt from h&m i got this actually in a size small um turns out it's too big so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get it tailored or taken in like somehow some way I'll figure it out, but it's also super cute. It has like a scalloped top, and I just liked the ruching, and then it's um, stretchy in the back. Really cute, but I'm really sad it doesn't fit. And the extra small, I had an extra small before. It was way too tight. I literally couldn't get my arm through the size extra small, so I had to move on. And then... I got two shirts from TJ Maxx. I got this shirt, which is just this TLC graphic tee. I got this from the men's section. Um, but it's like this TLC graphic tee, like kind of a tour shirt. Thought that was really cute. And then I got another shirt that I thought I could wear to work, which is just like this one. Super stretchy. Has polka dots, straps. It's a peplum top. I'm really not a fan of the peplum style, but I was like, whatever. I can wear it to work hee <laughs> hee so i got that as well then i got this shirt from amazon um you guys know these shirts they look like this yeah um it's like she she in collection on amazon it has this little ring in the middle i think this was 12.99 love this top looked so good on last thing i got was this shirt from target to go with my pajamas just this like blue tie-dye i thought this was also super cute and super soft this is from my favorite target collection it's called um uh, i forget it's like the one with the brown tag the cole c collection chef's kiss whoever made that collection whoever whoever thought of this collection ask for a raise ask for a raise and do it quickly you deserve that you did that you single-handedly one hand elevated target you you babes you did that the last shirt that i got was from nike to match with the bottoms that i showed y'all earlier it is also in the same coconut color but it has this like little design on it with like mushrooms and the nike check and i just thought it was super cute and it's kind of oversized like a little boxy look but with the shorts it looks so cute um and i'm imagining it with like denim shorts it's also gonna look cute so yeah and that is all of the shirts that i actually got that is pretty much everything <laughs> for my birthday i'm super grateful to have been able to buy myself some stuff that i've been wanting to have gotten some stuff from my friends and from my family and just to have had such great celebrations and such a great time and have been so self-reflective this year um thank you guys for having contributed to the amazing year that was my 19th year on earth i guess um in no way did i think i was going to get so many views and get so many subscribers from that video that i made but i did and here i am and i'm trying to make youtube work because this is what i've wanted since i was a kid yeah but yeah thumbs up if you've liked the video um let me know if you guys want to see more videos about dhgate more haul videos like literally whatever you want i think i'm gonna do another makeup routine video because i kind of have changed up my makeup routine i know i literally did a couple months ago but yeah oh i have so many ideas and i'm really interested to hear what you guys are also interested in doing and watching me do keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting i'm so just like happy i just feel so good um yeah so to all my 
he, she, they's, girls, guys, and gays. Um, I will see you all in my next video. And until then, much love, much happiness. Yeah, yeah.